Ink Mage here, and you know that I love my Curse of Strahd, so I'm very excited to be able to give you a close-up look at the premium Curse of Strahd minis right now. So the first set we're going to look at for the Icon of the Realms, Curse of Strahd, Covens, and Covenants. And these uh, minis are NPCs found specifically in the Curse of Strahd campaign. Maybe the first couple that you encounter if you use the mini adventure Death House are Rose and Thorn. There's a couple kids. And so, you see, hang on, it's upside down, but maybe you'll just flip your computer upside down. <laughs> and Thorn, and they're a brother and sister. It's pretty cool. This looks just like the artwork in the book. And you can see, Thorn is holding a toy. He is no Blinsky, is no fun. Just great minis to have if you are running the game. And if you're not running the game, you could still use these minis for NPCs in some other adventure. Next characters that you might encounter in your, your game are these three sisters. And again, there's something more about them. These are it's a it's a coven and so this one's kind of interesting because it doesn't necessarily look like an old woman I mean it could be a very old woman right but you could also use this one as an old man so either way this is a great NPC to have for Curse of Strahd or otherwise and so this one is Ophalia Wormwiggle then you have Morgantha and Morgantha doesn't have to be a hag, but look at she could just be a kindly old woman bringing a pie to the shelf or <laughs> windowsill, rather. Look at that. It's just a, a, a really good NPC. And again, just nice little detail on there with the pie. And really nice detail on the paint job and face. It's a good one. And then you also have Bella Sunbane. And she's pretty gnarly. And she's got some magic going on in her hand. And just, you know, kind of an evil face. Look at that. That's really kind of nice detail on the face and the clothing. So these are three great NPCs. Okay, so here's the Abbot. And the Abbot is kind of a suspicious character. What? Uh, what's his background? People don't know, and you'd find him at the uh, Abbey of St. Markovia, I believe, in Kresk. And he, and, and the, the Abbey that he runs is really fun and interesting because there are some really strange NPCs uh, to be found there. Also found at the Abbey is the Abbot's creation. He's trying to soothe the savage beast with uh, with Strahd, and in doing so, he creates a Stitch Golem. So this is a really great mini to have. Look at how cool it is, and this could be used in, again, in a number of situations that you could create. She's got some flowers, and a pretty dress, and she's all stitched up, but nowhere to go, because Strahd hasn't come calling. Okay, the next set we're gonna look at is the Curse of Strahd, Legends of Barovia, and this has some great minis, including Van Richten. And again, the, the design looks just like in the campaign book, which is cool. Because I have a old D&D mini uh, for Van Richten, and it's nowhere near as cool. This one really looks great. He looks like a Hammer Films vampire hunter, you know, or, or even Fright Night with Roddy McDowell I, it, I'm dating myself a little bit, but what a cool, what a cool mini with his sword cane and his tome uh, filled with with monster hunting lore. All right, you have, of course, his protege, Esmeralda, and she could be used as a ranger in your game or even a bar barbarian, I suppose. But just a great. NPC mini to have for that particular campaign, but definitely can be used as a player character later. So 
check her out. Now, if you've already run your players through this campaign, this is Baba La Saga. Not to be confused with Baba Yaga, though there is some similarities, I suppose. But this, this figure it kind of reminds me like a, a female version of Gary Oldman in Dracula. I can tell you this, the couple times I ran this campaign, it was, if not for you know, branching storytelling, it would have been a TPK for my party against her and her house. <laughs> but I didn't want the campaign to end, so I had the player characters taken by her and delivered to Strahd, and they found themselves waking up in the dungeon. Yeah, look at that. She's standing on some skulls. She looks great. Just an incredible mini. These premium figures are really terrific. Um, here's one. This is an NPC that maybe your, your player characters won't encounter. One of the times uh, that I ran the campaign, the players did. Another, they didn't. And so whether you're using Piddlewick here <laughs> or not for Curse of Strahd, this could be a great jester in a throne room for a king or a noble wearing a funny mask or just has face paint on or, or it could be an automaton construct like the the mini is so great great mini one of my absolute favorites is there's not enough mongrel folk minis particularly that look like the way mongrel folk are supposed to with um you know varying various body parts like if you check let me see let me get down here you can see he's got like a chicken leg and a shoed foot he's got like a furry arm and a face that's kind of bestial but he's just a really cool servant look he's got a lantern and a humpback again mongrel folk love to have more mongrel folk of course, another early NPC that you may encounter is Madame Eva, or Ava, depending on how you say it. And I love it because she's holding up the Taraka deck. But whether you, again, whether you're using Curse of Strahd or you just want a fortune teller, what a great mini to have. Very colorful clothes as the Vistani like to wear. And look at the detail on the face, that's really good. You can almost hear her talk. <laughs> this land will turn you against yourselves and against each other. If that's the accent you use. And then, of course, you have the man himself, Strahd von Zarevich. Look at him. WizKids already put out a Strahd von Zarevich, but he was ready for battle. This is more... Uh, he's, he's at home, chilling with a glass of wine. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, it could also just be used as a noble in your camp and another campaign so love the detail very much like the artwork that's what I love about these premium figures they all look like the artwork in the books so I think <clears throat> there is quite a bit of value in this set let me let me bring them all in here quite a bit of value for your campaign if you're running uh, Curse of Strahd but even if you're not running Curse of Strahd great minis to use in whatever game you are running so i highly recommend that so there you have it a close-up look at the curse of strahd premium figures that is my favorite published fifth edition campaign that wizards has done i highly recommend you checking it out uh, if you like this video please subscribe for some extra xp and follow me on instagram at ink mage see you next time <laughs>